muscle. Surrounding the whole muscle is the epimesium. When you take off the epimesium on the inside, you have fascicles. You also have muscle fibril and myofibril. The sarcomere is the basic functioning unit of striated muscle. It is made up of thick and thin filaments. It consists of an I band, an A band, an H band, Z discs, and an M line. An action potential arrives at the synaptic knob. Calcium channels and membrane allow calcium to move into the cell. An increase in calcium causes synaptic vesicles filled with acetylcholine to fuse with the membrane. Acetylcholine is released from the synaptic knob by exocytosis into the synaptic clip. Acetylcholine is picked up by receptors on the motor end plant of a skeletal muscle. Sodium potassium channels allowing open allowing sodium ions to enter muscle fiber. An increase in positive ions inside the muscle initiate an action potential on the sarcolemma. A big depolarization travels as an action potential. Acetylcholine esterase is released to break down acetylcholine to stop the signal after an action potential. It turns into acetic acid and choline, which is reabsorbed by the neurons to make more acetylcholine. An action potential travels down the sarcolemma into T tubules and stimulates the release of calcium from the terminal cisterna of the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the sarcoplasm of the muscle cell. Calcium floods over the thin filaments and binds to troponin, pulling tropomyosin off the active site on the action. High energy myosin heads leap to bind on the exposed active sites on the thin filaments forming a cross bridge. The myosin head pivots to the low energy state, releasing ADP and moving the thin filaments over the thick filaments. ATP, which is produced by mitochondria, binds to the myosin head, causing the head to break free from the active site on the actin. The myosin head becomes energized as ATP is converted to ADP. Calcium is pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and attached to calcoquestrian, allowing tropomyosin to once again cover the active site, resulting in relaxation of the muscle.